How's it going, everyone? This is Wimbo. Today we are going to have a, another quick Blender tutorial. As you can see here in the viewport, we have two identical model, and we're finished how to set up everything. But if you look really closely, you can see, you can see here we have some lines and wireframes in here around the body. So if we actually hit the render view, the render tab, you can see we can see the model and also we can see the typology of this 3D model. So basically typology is just how did we uh, use all these quads to kind of form this uh, shapes. And they usually sometimes when you show off some of the model, you want to show people how you do all these typologies, how you imagine to do this. It's just, I, I personally think it's a very cool texture and then without actually texturing it, uh, so it's actually pretty good. So how can we achieve the same result as, as uh, showing on the other side? So what we're going to do here, we are going to go to the shading mode and this is the finished one. So this is the default one. So what I want to click that, uh, any part of this body, I can just generate creating a new materials using principal BSDF. So what I did, I basically just changing base color to pure white and uh, to to actually decrease the specular to zero and to increase the roughness to all the way to one. So it's just some very, very basic material. And if I do this, and we have a HDRI image hooked, so it, everything you can see here, and uh, with the lighting, you don't need to do anything. Next thing, what I need to do here, I can just select one part of it, of, of this uh, model and then I'm going to go to the uh, modifier tab. So as you can see here, I already have a subdivision modifier apply in here. What I will go do, going to do is I'm going to add a wireframe modifier and then that, then you can see, well, something has changed and it suddenly becomes, there's some holes inside. It just become a sign up kind of like a, a, a snacks uh, kind of shape, but this is not what I want. And uh, uh, I'm actually just want to having some wireframe on the top of the model. So what I need to do, I need to uncheck this replace original. So now you can see here, we have something over here above the original mesh. And this is still pretty big and the fat. And so I want to make it thinner. So I'm, I just need to change the thickness to maybe 0 0.001 to do that. And then you can see where some very minor line up or structures going on here. If I go to the solid mode, you can see this is what we're having here. But now when we go to the render view, it's still the same material. So you won't see it very clearly as you can see here. So what should we do? And the next thing I, I need to go is the, the uh, texture tab. And now why we need to adding a second textures and to apply on that wire. So what I would do here, I just hit plus. And then now what we can do, we can add a new texture, I hit the plus, or you can just pick a one that I already made. It's just, as I call the black one line, or you can change it to any color. It's basically still same materials and uh, is basically just different color. So if I do, for example, if I'm gonna go with a different color, I can do so. So I just do blue and then come back. And then right now it said, it's a blue color, but it's a black line. So I'm just going to change the name real quick. Blue line. And, and then nothing happened, right? And the, the one thing we need to change is go to the modifier tab again. And then we're going to change the material offset to one. So just basically we're adding uh, a second material. Now you can see we have some blue colors going on here. But honestly, I, I don't like that look. So I'm probably just going to go to black. Okay, so it should be fine. So next thing, what you do, you just gonna uh, making sure every part of the, your your mesh having the same modifier and the texture. Well, that can be a little bit annoying uh, to do one by one because you have to repeating a single step every single time. So what you need to do here, you just need to select all these other parts, all right, of this uh, uh, um, mesh and. For this one, and then you're gonna select the this one, the the new one that we just creating at very last. So we'll click that. Now we'll have a orange uh, outline on there. As you can see here, the other one is still orange, but this one is a little bit brighter yellow, 
or yellow orange ish and then what you're gonna do here you you're gonna finish this and then you can go to the uh, wireframe modifier right here and you can click here and it said copy to select it so, so watch so now everything the modifier has been synced to the exactly uh, the way you want and but if you go to the render tab I still have nothing with the uh, black line yet so the reason is the we haven't um, really copying the material because uh, other part doesn't have the black material so what we do need to do is control L and then we can just do uh, the link the material okay and so if I hit this and the rest of the body has all these same materials as the one we built in. So this is the finished one. So we can actually render things out. This is going to remake this thing and going to show you some beautiful uh, lines for your topology. It's pretty nice. And some of you probably have a really cool monsters or a hard surface machines. Would that be very cool? But I, what I've done here for my male audience, and this is just a, a female uh, eyelash curl uh, I'm focusing on the product and the cosmetic stuff uh, okay anyway so this is done and the, what I also done here I'm actually having a, a light and uh, a backgrounds built in, in in the scene so what I will do here I'm gonna hit the control and the right click and uh, to cut off the HDRI image so now everything lighting illuminating by the by the light already creating here so if I click here you will see how I made this light I will show you guys how to make this type of light in many of my YouTube tutorials so you will check it out later so as you can see here this is very basic scene so it's just uh, applying and uh, get some bevel and pull it up and the, most of you guys already know uh, when if you are trying to show off your topology you already know this is how to do this very very basic scene so now what I would do here I can actually select the, the background I can make a very dark color and just make it look cool and then when you look at it and or, or when you zoom in uh, to do a render the background have a really nice contrast with your model and then you can creating some renders like that as you can, it can be pretty cool you know so you can just spend your time to really find a camera angle and to getting something that you want and it will be something very similar or even cooler than my thumbnails on the YouTube video this one okay so this is pretty much uh, what I want to share for this tutorial and uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one bye